Hey guys, welcome to the 2 a.m. pipe on the patio. Today I am smoking my Sunday 320. My Oceano Smooth. This was a gift from uh, Piper 49er up in Alaska. It's a sweet smoke from 320, I'll tell you. And in it, I'm smoking Gawith and Hogarth Dark Plug. This stuff is some dynamite plug, I'll tell you. It comes in big blocks. It was about twice as long as that when I got it. And I had to cut it in half just to fit it in the jars. And I got this back in February 28th of 2020. And uh, The way I like to cut that up is I get my knife out and I just cut it up and I'll cut half of it into cubes and I put that in the bottom of my pipe and then I cut it into to, uh, slices first and I'll cut half of the slices into cubes and then the other half of the slices I'll rub out and uh, the cubes I put in the bottom half of the pipe and the stuff I rub out I put in the top half and that bottom half gives it more uh, room to breathe and the top half makes it easier to light this stuff is pretty moist being a plug and it takes a bunch of relights which I don't mind at all but I like the taste of the cubes more than I like the taste of the rubbed out stuff And just has a, a more rich, rich taste. So I do about two thirds of the bowl are uh, cubes, and the top third is rubbed out stuff. Which usually helps to get going tonight. It's Give me a little bit of problems keeping it going, but boy, it sure is a great taste in tobacco. And worth being finicky. <laughs> and I got a, a new plug cutting knife that I just picked up this week. Somebody asked me what I thought of when I was doing a uh, video on my knives I use for cutting carbon tampers and stuff. Somebody asked me what I thought of Rough Rider knives. And I'd never used one. Hadn't even heard of them. And uh, I started doing a little research on them. And the reviews were pretty good on them. And uh, I looked them up and they were... The price on them was just ridiculously low and so I ordered one and uh, I got this one here it's a fairly large knife incredibly well made 
I got to say that the uh, quality of these is quite good. And uh, this one, it's a two blade, really nice, nice, uh, nice knife, stag bone uh, scales, really nice knife. They're slip joints. They're kind. Of, they're on par with with case knives. I. Uh, the only thing I think it would be better on a case knife is these little end caps on them here. I think these are a little cheaper than than on a case knife. But uh, you know, it's got brass liners. Heavy duty. Really heavy duty. They lock. I mean, they don't lock, but they snap into place, and they snap into place. It's a quality knife. It really is a quality knife. This one cost me like 22 bucks shipped to me. Um, it, it's a heavy-duty knife. It's a big knife. Uh, it was bigger than I thought it was going to be, and uh, much bigger than I thought it was going to be. And uh, if I use this for cutting plugs now, this is my plug cutter, and uh, it's a quality little knife, man. I have no doubt that it's going to last me the rest of my life, probably. And uh, It's, uh, it's every bit as good as my case knives, I think. Other than those, the end pieces on them, they just, I don't know, I don't know, they just don't look as, as quality as, as the, as the case knife ends on them. I don't know what it is about them. They may be perfectly fine and quality is, Anything Case puts out, they just don't look as good as, as a Case knife to me. But I have nothing to base that on, it, you know, as far as anything but looks. That model is the 1789. This one here is the 1789. Look them up on eBay. They're Rough Riders. I got nothing but good things to say about them. I just, I got a second one as well. And, uh, uh, it's quality is just as good as this one. And, uh, I'm impressed with them. I'll see how they hold up, you know, over time. And come back and visit it later give you my thoughts on them then but initial impression is they are just quality knives man it's there's no play in the blades there's nothing that would lead me to believe that they're an inferior quality knife we'll see after you know i use it for a while and uh, you know i'll have to do some testing with it, but this one is just a heavy, heavy duty knife, man. Beautiful day today, gorgeous Sunday. Went to Walmart today with Sadie and picked up some more ball jars to put some tobacco in because I am out of ball jars. And I got tobacco I got to put in jars. Thanks to Fawn River Piper. I got some tobacco I got a jar up.
Man, it's some good stuff. So Carl, I sent some of this to you too, buddy. Cool. Hope you enjoy that. Got a cardinal eye or somewhere with me. God, I love those things. Well, guys, I see a lot of guys are putting out the word on. Chad Yardism, and uh, that's good to see. Uh, I I didn't know whether he wanted that put out there or not, so I didn't say anything. But, uh, it's out there now. <laughs> so keep them in your prayers. And uh, there's a GoFundMe for him. I will uh, I'll do a separate video tomorrow for him about the GoFundMe. And let's get that uh, get that going and. And give him the help he and his family deserve and need. And uh, it's always amazing to see the YTPC come together for one of their own, boy, I'll tell you. And it happens quick. And uh, I've been the recipient of it. And it's, it's, a, it's a humbling, amazing, mind-boggling blessing. And... Uh, I can tell you that when it happens to you, it's a huge, huge, huge blessing. And uh, so. If you can, bless Chad. He's been here for a lot of us. And uh, he's a, a wonderful, wonderful human being. And uh, so I'll do a video tomorrow just on that. So, but, uh, so I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good day. God bless each and every one of you guys. Keep Chad in your prayers for him and his family. And uh, that, that uh, the doctors have the wisdom they need to help him get better. And that uh, Chad remains strong and uh, fights with everything he has. God bless you guys.